you clicked on this video because it's all about St. Augustine grass care and what better place to teach you about it other than in St. Augustine. So you might be new to St. Augustine grass or finally want to improve your lawn and do it yourself. Now you're looking up videos because it's tough, but don't feel bad because St. Augustine grass is different than any grass in the world. Anything you know about grass from where you came from, anywhere up north, what we call cold season turf, you can throw all of that out the window. You're gonna need a fresh start all about turf for St. Augustine grass. I'm here to give you some tips on how to properly care for St. Augustine grass to avoid making big mistakes to your lawn and costing you a lot of money and time, which I see a lot of. First things about me is my name is Chad. I have 13 years of experience professionally caring for St. Augustine grass. Two of those years was in college for landscape and turf grass. Another seven is owning and operating my own fertilization and pest control company in St. Augustine in Jacksonville, Florida. Now the main thing is, is we have three important factors to having an awesome lawn. Watering, mowing, and fertilization in that exact order. I'm gonna go over all three to give you a good base knowledge on all three of these things so you can have success with your St. Augustine lawn. Let's start with the most important thing about caring for the lawn, which is watering St. Augustine turf. This is the most important thing is watering long times around 30 to 50 minutes per lawn zone and less days per week. You need to water half to three quarters of an inch of water every time you put it down on your lawn. Now putting out cups to allow you to measure, this is ideal. But from my experience, it's around 30 to 50 minutes range per zone. Now the reason long times in less days is important is because we want the lawn to be like a sponge. A sponge is best when it's wet, dry, wet, dry. And if it stays dry too long, a sponge brittles and cracks. If it's wet too long, it gets fungus and moldy. And that's the same thing with your lawn. We wanna give it a long, deep soaking, and then we wanna allow it to dry out before we soak it again next time. Now, a big tip I see is do not stop watering in the winter time. You still wanna water at least one day a week in the winter time. I see a lot of lawns get damaged and stressed because they stop watering in the winter. And, and then when spring comes around, which I like to use daylight savings as a good time to bump up from your winter to your spring irrigation. And that should be roughly about two days a week. And then the summer, which is tough because of how hot and dry or rainy and wet our summers can be here. So that's gonna be anywhere from two to four days a week. Now, of course, a lot of this watering depends on full sun versus shady areas, sandy soil versus clay soils, and things like that. So that's gonna play an important factor into it. So try to know for what area that you're in, most likely what type of soil you have. Fall is a great time to go back to two days a week. Now, these are, of course, just a rough guideline because there's so many factors that play into your irrigation system, but this is a great place to start. And once you find those good longer watering times that works well for you, don't change those times. You're just going to adjust the days. Need more water? Add more days. Need less water? Add less days. Keep long watering times. It's very important for St. Augustine turf. And because these are rough guidelines, if you want something custom for your lawn, I do offer 40 minute consultations for $90. So if that's something you're interested in, I can get your irrigation and a whole lawn program dialed just for you. And you can email me at turforganics904 at gmail.com for that information. Now, the second most important thing in St. Augustine grass is mowing. For this, mowing higher is better. You should be mowing your lawn at least at four inches. If you're not sure on your mower where that setting is, my advice is always just put your lawn mower to the highest setting to play it safe. Also, a big misconception is you change mowing heights during the season. You do not. You always want to mow the lawn high. Spring, summer, fall, winter, 
you want to keep mowing the lawn at four inches or higher. Now, St. Augustine grass blades are very thick. A lot of people call this itchy grass, and that's from the kind of pointy, large grass blades. And that's going to cause your mower blade to dull very quickly. Make sure to keep that mower blade sharp so you're not tearing the tops of the grass blades and you're cutting them. I recommend sharpening those mower blades at least once to two times a year, if not more. Now in the summer, it's very, very important to mow every five to seven days. Because if you cut more than a third of the grass blade at a time, you're gonna start stressing that St. Augustine grass out. So in the summertime, it's very important to keep that turf mowed. The only time you should ever be bagging your lawn for St. Augustine grass is if you have a major weed issue. That way you're sucking those weed seeds up rather than spreading them throughout the lawn. If weeds are not a major issue in the lawn, you should absolutely be mulching that right back into the turf. Now it's very important too to make sure you have a mulching mower with mulching blades. That makes a big difference because like I said, those thick grass blades, they really need to be mulched down. So make sure that you have the proper equipment to mulch, but it's very important to get those grass clippings back down into the soil. Now here's a quick basic rundown on fertilization. If you really want some more detailed fertilization programs and plans, uh, I can help you that with my, my 40 minute Zoom calls, but as well as I have tons of YouTube videos on my channel that cover fertilization in extreme detail. But this is gonna be a quick rundown so you can get the basics and you have a great place to start. So let's start with how much nitrogen St. Augustine grass lawns need per thousand square feet per year. And that's gonna be two to four pounds of actual, actual nitrogen per thousand square feet. Now that's kind of a big difference and that's because it depends on the soil. If you're in an area with sandier soil, such as Florida or St. Augustine, then you're gonna need more closer to four pounds of nitrogen per year. You're gonna be on the higher end. Now, if you're somewhere in maybe Texas, where you have a more clay-like soil, um, and even parts of Florida, like Pensacola, have a more clay-like soil, then you're gonna go on the lower end, closer to two pounds of nitrogen per thousand square feet per year. Now, in the springtime, the most important thing with your fertilizer is you want twice as much nitrogen, which is the first number on the bag, as you want potassium, which is the last number on the bag. A good spring fertilizer is going to be a 24 to 11. Now in the summer, what we call is you want to spoon feed the lawn. Feed it very low amounts of nitrogen and high amounts micronutrients and or humic acids every 45 to 60 days. Now, milorganite is a great example of a low nitrogen summer fertilizer. Now, a lot of places have blackout dates with no nitrogen and that's okay. What you're gonna do is just use those micronutrients and utilize humic acids in the lawn to keep feeding it throughout those nitrogen blackout days. But you still wanna make sure you give it the food in the springtime. Now in the fall, it's really gonna matter where you're located on more of what you're gonna use. And that's gonna be somewhere in the sandier soil. I like to see using a like 1648 in the fall because sandy soils lack nitrogen so much. We're gonna wanna add that kind of as much as we can without overdoing it. And a good 1648 slow release for the sandy soils will do that. Now if you're in something with more clay soils, like a more even balance in the fall, like a 15015 or a 7020 would be a better fall blend for clay soils that are gonna hold more nitrogen. Now in the winter time, it's very important to apply potassium, also known as potash, which is a 0050 every 45 to 60 days. I love adding humic acid all year around, but doing it in the winter time really helps as well. My example of using the potassium, which feeds the roots, which is always the last number on the fertilizer bag. My favorite example is that it's so hot where we have St. Augustine grass that the summer is like a marathon. Remember, most people have blackout dates and we're just spoon feeding the lawn slow amounts of micronutrients and things like that to keep it going and fighting off heat, disease, pests, things like that. So what the winter time is when we're not worrying about all those things is it's the training for the marathon. 
feeding it potassium, sea kelp, things like that, that help develop the roots. So your lawn can spend all winter long developing its root system. Now in all these areas with St. Augustine grass, they're obviously very warm climates. So we're gonna be dealing with pests. And the most common pests will be chinch bugs, sod webworms, army worms, mole crickets, and grubs. Those are the most common pests that are going to be damaging your St. Augustine turf. Now this issue will be obviously most common in the summer months. And this would be a long video if I went over all these in extreme detail, but this is definitely the list of pests you wanna keep an eye on. Again, I have more videos that go over all these pests in extreme detail on my channel. And I try to make them as quick as possible, so I do recommend seeing them, but those pests are what you're gonna to wanna to keep an eye out. And so if you start having damaging areas of the lawn, that's something you're gonna to wanna to look up to see if that's what's causing that damage. Now, we also have fungus as another main issue to look out for. There's a bit less fungus we'll have to deal with. Gray leaf spot fungus is what you're gonna see in the summertime um, when we're getting lots of rain, moisture sitting, things like that. That's a very distinct fungus. It's very easy to notice and identify once you have those issues and see what that fungus looks like. And also another fungus that we'll see in the summertime when we get lots of rain is going to be take all root rot fungus. You can get that even into the fall months, but you'll mainly see, you'll only see gray leaf spot fungus in the summertime and you'll see take all root rot possibly year round, but mostly in the rainy season. And then the last one is brown patch fungus, which is a fall to winter fungus. And it's the only time you'll see that it makes distinct circles uh, that are brown, orange, and gold, things like that. So it's a very distinctive and you'll only see that in the cooler months. So you won't have to worry about having multiple funguses usually at the same time. Now again, that was a quick rundown of the main issues that you're gonna see. I have videos about all the funguses as well, but these are all things you're gonna need to have an eye out for. But once you see them, in person or watch a video or see a picture of the fungus. Most things, even pests, pests are a little more difficult or have a distinctive, unique pattern of the damage or whatever. And that's what's gonna help you identify. So knowing that will make a big difference in your lawn rather than just randomly guessing at a brown spot and buying pest, fungicide, whatever. So it's really important to know these things. So you're not just gonna be throwing random stuff out at your lawn because that won't work. And a lot of these pests like saw webworms and chinch bugs and even brown patch fungus move very quickly through the lawn. So if they're misidentified or not taken care of, they can do quite some damage and you'll end up replacing a lot of turf and mud. Let's talk about how St. Augustine grass grows so you can understand it better. St. Augustine grass is not a monocot grass blade like most, which means one seed turns into one straight grass blade that shoots up. That's how most grasses grow and that's how most people understand turf. Now, the best way to describe St. Augustine grass is like a vine that has shoots of grass off of that vine up to give it a thick, good looking lawn. Now that vine part of the grass blade I was talking about is called the stolon. And the stolon runs laterally across the soil. And then the shoots that go up and down are called the crown. A stolon running across the soil with a bunch of crowns all along it shooting roots down and grass blade up. So St. Augustine grass does not grow by seed. You cannot buy St. Augustine grass seed anywhere. It's not a thing that you can purchase. Now the way to plant and grow St. Augustine is by sod, which is absolutely by far the most common. And then the other is by plugs. Now this is very, very different than other turf grasses. This is why we have things like high mowing heights and things like that, because this is a very different turf grass. This is why if you have thin or bare areas in your lawn, you need to add soil to allow those stolons, which I'm calling the vines, to run across, shoot those crowns, and that will help your grass fill in because you're trying to promote more vine growth rather than seeding the lawn or allowing the lawn to seed and spread that way. I have several videos on my channel about using soil to fill in thin and bare areas and things like that because that's gonna be an important part to having a thick, healthy St. Augustine lawn. Especially if you have thin, problematic areas, you need to thicken up. 
And that's a quick rundown of St. Augustine Grass Care. That's gonna give you a great, good guideline of a place to start. If you like the video, please like, comment, and if you enjoyed the channel, please subscribe. It really helps to support me. I hope you've enjoyed beautiful St. Augustine. It was an amazing morning to film this video, and it's always beautiful here. And I thought, what not a better place than to film a video about St. Augustine grass care. I do online consultations and I have lawn kits for sale. If you're interested in any of that, email me at turforganics904 at gmail.com. And everyone, have a great rest of your day.